once again, the forces of the state are trying to decide what students should hear. You know, we've been here perhaps a dozen times over the years. I've spoken to more commencements than I can remember. But Goddard is my alma mater, right? And it's where people go to learn about how the real world works. It's an extraordinary school. But isn't it surprising that the same people who claim fidelity to the Constitution, to the law, are trying to violate the law and impose their will on others, especially the young? Everybody talks about the Constitution. Uh, think about this. Next time you hear someone talk about law enforcement, why don't you imagine when the last time they enforced the Constitution? And that goes for those politicians as well. They all got a good rap game. But when it comes to what they do in the name of power in the Constitution, they violate it every damn day. But I want the students to hear it, and damn it, they're going to hear it. I, I'm surprised that senators care. I'm surprised that Obama cares. But in some ways it's it's predictable because if you have uncensored reporting, they're going to be worried about it. Only because there's so little uh, of that because they can rely on 99% of the corporate media, right? Print, television, radio even, um, and the corporate control that those uh, entities enjoy. And they know they have been so well trained that they will not challenge power. And because of that, uh, the republic, you know, the so-called democracy, is falling down the drain. Chris Hedges has written best about that in uh, a book he wrote called Empire of Illusions. I say the people have to create their own media and boycott the corporate media because I think we both know that, you know, this thing could be a whole lot better but it's going in the wrong direction, you know? It's corporatized. Well, and, and like I said, we gotta make our own media. Basically, the right to vote and get involved in China's uh, political process. Mm -hmm. Now, with that being said, the chief executive that currently uh, is over Hong Kong, CY Leung, he's already given them an ultimatum that they need to clear out by Monday, which is tomorrow. And basically, in his ultimatum, he stated that the streets must be clear by Monday so that schools and businesses can resume. <laughs> the government and the police have the responsibilities and determination to take all necessary actions to restore social order. Now let me, let me repeat that quote to you again and you tell me what that sounds like. This again is the chief executive who is the, the, the top guy over in Hong Kong right now, C.Y. Leung. He states that the streets must be clear from our protesters by Monday so that schools and businesses can get back to work. Wow. This is the important part. The government and police have the responsibilities and determinations to take all necessary actions to restore social order. Now, I don't know if it's just me, but that sounds like a threat to me. Okay. Wait, restore it now. Can you explain that this is Hong Kong, right? This is Hong Kong. So what are, they pro what are the students protesting? Well, the protesters, basically, they're demonstrating for universal suffrage. It means they want to have the right to vote and get involved in the political process of uh, so Hong democracy. Kong. Right. So they want, uh, they're pro-democracy, the protesters in Hong Kong are pro-democracy. And as we all know, um, or maybe you don't know, uh, China is a communist government. Okay. Um, dictatorship so, or? Mm, I don't think it's a dictatorship. Um, I'm not really sure about what type that, of though. administrative? I guess it's all what, communist? It, it, it's dictatorship. Tiananmen Square. When they went out there and those people didn't move, they mowed <laughs> down with those tanks. Again, That's you, what a but you should have no problem with that, Gideon. That's what your <laughs> Bible tells you. Goddamn theocracy is just the same, ain't see, it? See, what the people in China, the children of China, are fighting for is a democratic illusion. Oh, jeez. The illusion and the reality. Go well, ahead. hold on. It's not. Let me. Let me. Go ahead. Because Give us the, the China, they operate under 
um, one system. They operate under one system, two nations, where China runs the entire government and political process. Okay. Hong Kong uh, used to be territory of the United Kingdom, mm -hmm. and the United Kingdom mm -hmm. gave Hong Kong back over to China in 1997. Okay. Now, mm -hmm. when they did that in 1997, uh, they gave Hong Kong a high degree of autonomy. Okay. Okay. So I don't exactly know what that means because they, they're not totally autonomous, but they have a high degree of autonomy. Bring and down autonomy. Well, yeah, well, you're autonomy self -governing, is exactly. right, you're a self-governing entity or self-governing body. So voices want to basically be heard. A, a level of sovereignty. Right, a, a, a okay. certain level of sovereignty. So I don't know, you know, they, they said it's a semi-autonomous territory, so I don't... What does that I mean? guess that means that they depend on China for certain monetary funds and resources. Possibly. Um, but they're not totally 100% autonomous. And I think they may want to move towards that, which is why they want such a big hand in the political process. You know, they have elections coming up in 2017. Right. Mm -hmm. And now the crux of this problem lies in the fact that Hong Kong has 5 million eligible voters to vote in this 2017. Okay. election and it, you this is the first time it's going to be a quote unquote free election uh -oh. uh, where they're letting the populace vote whereas before it used to be a 1200 person uh committee that voted for the chief executive of hong Kong. and the committee the 1200 person committee um consisted of people all loyal to china mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so <laughs> that, you can see why the people of hong kong <laughs> will have a problem because they feel like the the chief executive now Tsai Wai, uh, C.Y. Leong, they feel like he's just a puppet for China. Yeah. And they feel like he's not representing the people of Hong Kong properly because he follows all the rules and regulations of China. Okay. So I think really ultimately what Hong Kong is fighting for is they do want to ultimately become a uh, totally autonomous uh, okay. government and territory. Um, and they want the... the but the people of Hong Kong are Chinese, right? Right. Yes. Okay. That is correct. Very good. Continue. But they were just <coughs> given back over to China as a Chinese Recently. territory mm -hmm. in 1997 mm -hmm. from the UK. Right. Um, and they, uh, the protesters in Hong Kong, they also want C.Y. Leong to resign because they feel like he's not representative of the people. Um, and so China has already stated the 2017 election. They're put. They're they're going to vet and put up all the candidates mm -hmm. for the 2017 elections. And the protesters in Hong Kong feel like, well, what's the point of me having the a power vote. of voting when you go if I have to vote for the puppet that, that you, you put in office? Right. Which is kind of a sentiment that well, is know, echoed Gideon, here in America <laughs> with black Americans. He said it's illusion. So Gideon, I mean, are you for the Chinese government? <laughs> I mean, you just see oh, that's cold, man. Towards, you know, democracy is not real, so you side with the Chinese government here. No, the reality of uh, the democratization oh, you, oh, of the world is an illusion based on oh, are you side with, you? with the people. Power, to, power the people. to the people. You want for the people? You just said it's an illusion. Well, the reality of anything. even power of the people. It, there is going to still be a microcosm of those who are the intelligentsia and those who will follow the intelligentsia. So you're, for, you're, so you're really thing? talking about an oligarchy, a system of oligarchy, but the uh, oligarchical system that basically uh, infiltrates through our elders and royal families is one that's based on a council. Do you not understand what a council? Yeah, but that's what council, black nationalism no, is, right? No, your council. Wait a minute now. You trying to tell me black nationalism isn't doesn't do with use councils? The black nationalism has nothing to do with the Bible. It has nothing I didn't to do ask with you that. Okay. I didn't ask you it that. It has to do with the theocracy. Does it have to do with a council? It has to do with a council of checks and balances. That's what I'm saying. Earth realm. That's right. Your council that's is right. involved in some sky daddy. Not me. Well, the Bible. Not that's bound by religion. Well, you still got no, people that deal. Not like, like You're I still dealing with people, though. No. I'm not no. saying the council is Your spiritual council. council. deals with comic book characters. 
My counsel no. is with the people. Are, we, did, is, are you a comic book character? No. Is Vince a comic book character? No, but is this sure. a counsel right here? <laughs> this is a bit <laughs> of a counsel, saying? my brother. I don't okay. say, he's, saying, he's a comic book character. <laughs> I'm talking about Chicks and Balance. You talk about everything. I'm telling you right now, this is a council, and okay. I'm agreeing with you. Okay. And uh, the understanding of what the council uh, agenda is right. is what is going to help to extricate ourselves from the oppressive system of white supremacy. But then we don't want black supremacy when the system is still unjust. See, that's why he said the sister that just we were just having our program was talking about. In, a, in Fulton County, we got black judges, right. we got black lawyers, right. we got black police, right. we got black people in and they jail. Serve for the black, and and it, of black capitalists. And it has never <laughs> done anything <laughs> to help us. No, no, it served. It helped the black Thank capitalists. Okay. It, it served, but the black capitalists are they're involved in the political system. But this is where we go back to Hong Kong and and the Chinese and what they're fighting for. And this is the parallels that you're right, seeing. Right, the parallels, right? Because right. under the oppressive white supremacist regime, you still have the oligarchical system that set up puppets, that it's in the political process, right. and you it still vote for the right. lesser of two evils. Because right. you don't really have the real people in that process. But this man right here reads the Purple Bible that tells him to just turn the other cheek. Get on the moon, turn the sure. other yeah. cheek. Well, you got a lot of viewers out there that read that same book. So that's, that's, not, same that's not upset book. the viewers. <laughs> I'm going to upset the viewers, God it. I'm going to declare the endless war act on God's name. I thought Barack already did that. He sure did. <laughs> exactly. I'm here to reinforce it. Now, let me just say this, Gideon. A council is deprived of people who may not necessarily agree on the outcome, but we come with many solutions and we don't try to stop each other. Like if say, if Vince decided he wanna register to vote, I'm not gonna stop him. Malcolm X says by any means necessary. So if Vince feels like it's a good idea, you feel like I'm not gonna stop y'all. See what you do in your theocratic red state is that you try to stop others. You impose your belief. That is your belief. Everything you have imposed is your belief, Gideon. Exactly. All I'm saying is don't stop this man. Don't stop me. We have Are you a right? plan. We have an agenda. You do your agenda. We do ours. We come together. And we have an end goal. Right. That's the purpose but look, of But check this out now. Look, look, look. look. <laughs> See, this, this group right here represents the council. Right. And we are basically on even uh, playing field. Okay. But guess what, what was introduced in the council? The gavel. Uh, <laughs> so so right. even... Even in an open council, there's an oligarchical uh, system right, of power yeah. to shut you down. Wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. Don't say that. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> I'm going to shut you down. So, so, so. You're actually seeing how the government works right here in the yeah, microphone. Yeah, that's a pretty order. good parallel. <laughs> <laughs> it represents order. So that we all don't talk out, you know. That's what the, that's what the government is saying over there. Hey. Go ahead, Ben. Okay. okay, now back to Hong Kong and this political unrest over there because yeah. this is building up to be a very significant uh, moment in Chinese history. Mm -hmm. That's right. Uh, because if you think about it, there aren't too many times you can think of where the Chinese government has been challenged. Uh, Gideon Tiananmen brought up Square. earlier Tiananmen Square, and if you don't know what happened there, that was a <laughs> pro democracy uh, protest back in 1989. Mm. Uh, it ended on June 4th, 1989, Jeez. when the Chinese government sent in its foot soldiers, Hello? declared martial law, and gunned down thousands yes. upon thousands of protesters in the streets. That's right. And pretty much put an end to that movement. They so squashed that one. They squashed it quick, <laughs> fast, and in a hurry. So now... The fear and concern now, uh, not only in China and Hong Kong, but around the globe, is that this situation and this protest that's currently going on with Occupy Central and the students over there in Hong Kong may eventually lead to a Tiananmen Square. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't think anybody wants to see that happen. Uh, but the Chinese government has already put it out there that we have the again. right <laughs> to use <laughs> any means necessary to uh, squash these protests, hmm. to get our economy back up and running. Because for the past week since they've uh, been having these protests in the middle of, what is it, Mong Kok, which is a district of shops and residences and businesses, okay. um, that the protesters have basically shut down. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And over the past week, you know, they've lost a lot of money. 
government officials haven't yes. been able to go to work yes. uh, to do their job. <laughs> so they're, they are, they're causing a serious problem. Right. And so the Chinese government is like, look, you don't kicked up your little dust. <laughs> you don't you don't you don't wave your little banners in your signs and did your little chant. Right now. Uh we need to we need this here to stop by Monday, I believe they said Monday Hello? before it's time to well, go to like, work Monday just morning. Like Gideon's other group ISIS. Ooh. Gave them to convert to Islam. Right. Sounds familiar. Right, right. <laughs> so China is basically saying they're twelve hours ahead of us, so it's five here. Yeah. Um uh so they're basically five so when they roughly three hours two to three hours from now over in China, the day is supposed to start. Businesses, schools is supposed to start. Oh, and and China's on. already oh. said, y'all need to be cleared out before, you know, it's time for Monday's school and business workday to start. Wow. Right. And the protesters uh, who were supposed to have talks uh, with the government on Friday, uh -huh. they put an end to the possible talks that they were supposed to have on Friday because... You have the protesters, right. mm. and you have the counter-protesters. Mm. Protesters are in Hong Kong. The counter-protesters are older. No, they're older Hong Kong citizens mm -hmm. who are comfortable with the current system and right. are, are, are satisfied, I guess, to a degree with the current system. Certainly. The protesters are mainly right. student-aged young Right, young people. Young people. Let me ask a question. Because you're saying that there's the older uh, protesters are more comfortable. Counter-protesters. Counter-protesters. They got rich, they got different class systems in China, correct? Right, certainly. Okay, so you got poor people, you got rich people. Exactly. Right. Okay. And you got educated and uneducated. Right. Right, but this is a communist system, though. That's what I guess. Certainly. I'm not and that's You're missing the communalism? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, see, that's what I'm saying. And that threw me out, too, because communism, communism is supposed to be stateless, Communal. classless, and moneyless. Right. Yeah. But there, it's all smoke and mirrors. All that's what all mirror. these that's systems. The brother trying to make. Wait, so do we have a system that is a dictatorship capitalism? I, Wait a minute. Let, let's, look at, let's, let, let's break it this down. Okay, you have a government that vengeance, let's just state the fact, said you guys better get an order by such and such time. We cracking down on you. Right. That's a dictatorship. Exactly. Right. Now, that's fact number one. Fact number two, you have rich people and you have poor people. Right. So the wages are uneven. Right. right. Capitalism. Right. And so totalitarianism. Define that, Gideon. Totalitarianism is when the government is by its very nature controls all the resources and that resources mean the people, the, people, the land, the resources, the resources right. earth thing. <laughs> so total in a totalitarian uh -huh. system when they have pushback, like you say, it's all right now. We love you now. <laughs> well, you well, gotta well, let well, you well, wave well, your well, banner. Wait, 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 I'm missing something. We getting ready to How do does something? the government decide because I guess you got the older uh kind of protesters there, I guess the richer elite class? I, mean, how do I don't even know if they're the elite class because you know the elite okay, are not have... are not going to be out there on the front line fighting. They're, they're orchestrating these it. older right. They are there. There's a rumor that they're the the elite and the power structure is orchestrating Absolutely. the counter protesters. But what happened on Friday was there was supposed to be a meeting between uh, Occupy Central and the Chinese government. But during, Friday during the protests, there were all these fights that broke out, mm -hmm. and the protesters are saying that the Chinese government sent these provocateurs. Oh. Our agent provocateurs. Right. Oh, and now we get somewhere. Right. And even saying some of them are from the, the triads, mm -hmm. which is tri the, tri the triads, uh -huh. which is the, the gangs over there. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And, uh, you know, I don't know if you know about the triads, but traditionally they're known for drug running. They're known for prostitution. Yakuza. They're known for extortion. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But in recent well, years. they're supposed to be an underworld, though, right? So hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Okay, That's what right. they're traditionally known for. Right. Uh, drug running, prostitution, and extortion. But yeah, in recent right. years, but in recent years have become involved in legitimate ventures mm -hmm. like property development mm -hmm. and finance. Mm -hmm. Some, are, some yes. are also believed to have links with the political establishment, mm -hmm. fueling accusations that they have been paid by their authorities to stir up trouble. Yes. So the protesters are basically saying that the Chinese government is in cahoots with the triads right. and because 
you know, the triads are getting into legitimate businesses now. Cleaning up uh, that drug property money. Property development, <laughs> right, <laughs> things of that nature. So <laughs> the triads even have a reason to get involved in this because not the protesters are not only messing up the government's money. They messing business, up they they're money. messing up the triads. <laughs> and and you know, to get high. You know <laughs> that triad games don't play about their money or anything they're involved in. And so you have this uh, back and forth with the protesters saying that the government is involved with the triads and they they sent them in here to beat up on us because mm -hmm. the protesters have been attacked, beaten, and some even sexually assaulted, right, mm. right, they said. And the protesters are saying that it's the Chinese government mm -hmm. who's sending these provocateurs in to cause this kind of disruption to ultimately dismantle the, the Occupy uh, See, protesters. See, this is why I need Yango and, and, and Tracy in the show because I'm thinking, are the triads, is that pre mile Pre, well, uh, no, that's like Yakuza. When you say pre mile, oh, yeah, are you yeah. saying I'm after saying, mile? No, before mile. Before, oh, you say yeah, before, before mile. Yeah, yeah, mile. Before no, mile. They, they did, obviously, because they're part of the ancient culture of the. Uh, now okay, I'm like but, our own people. So, but, 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 but my, I'm, I'm a little. Okay, I'm, I'm, I need some clarity here. You know, okay. Vince is reading off how the government is in cahoots with the triads. And mm -hmm. I'm thinking from what I've learned when I was going to school mm -hmm. is that the triads was always under, there was always a crackdown, not only with Mao's regime, but okay. the, the, the nationalist regime, they were also, which is now the current regime, were cracking down on it. Uh, well, see, now members, members of the triads or the young people may be out there among the children because they are being oppressed, even though their parents may have been getting money from the various uh, industries that they had set up, but Wait, the children are out there. Like no. you said, these are the young people. Right, these no, are the young people. No, no, no. You guys, you know, see, this is why I need gangs on here, because you know, you got to understand how gangs work, Gideon. Gangs are all they're they're democratic. No matter how we uh, they're agree, a council. Disagree, they're a council. Right. Okay. There's no man, one man in charge. You can go to any Bloods, any Crips, Gangster Disciples. These are all councils. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The triads are council. So how does uh, you get triads to agree with the? I don't. I don't know if these guys are legit. Is what I'm saying. Well, nobody's Which agreeing. Guys are they, uh, these legit, triads. The triads. Yeah. No, I'm not. No, I'm not saying that the triads aren't legit. I believe that they're, they're legit. The real triads have been persecuted by the government because of their governmental setup. But let me bring so in a, a, a component that you guys may not have taken into consideration well, as part of. You know, you're talking about the triads yeah. and everything, but. I'm just simply saying the component that I wanted to bring in is who do the Chinese, they, they are atheist, but what the is... The government's atheist. What is the, thank you. Okay. What is the Chinese symbol? Our government's atheist too, but I'll go ahead. What is the, when they go to, they, they have their festivals and everything among the Chinese, what is the symbol of that nation? Oh, jeez, here we go with that. I ask a simple question. They have a national symbol. What is it? Well, it depends on what year. One year is a drag. No, 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 no. That is, it is the drag. No, but it, right. I, I, no, I, I you're talking about the dragon. calendar system oh, okay. is one right, thing. Right, I right. said the, the national drag, the drag. symbol. Okay, the right. dragon, right. Well, right. why would a nation want to name them that symbol of a dragon? What does a dragon do? Well, first of all, Gideon, the dragon... What I'm trying depends. to give you the understanding is a mentality of the people. You're Go ahead. Like the nation is based on a belief, Gideon. Well, the, the, the Europeans looked at the dragon as an evil symbol. The Chinese didn't. The dragon represent wisdom, Gideon. So stop I understand that. that but no, I'm saying there's a you're mentality. Basing, you're basing that on your Bible, Gideon. Your Bible no, 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 the dragon as something being evil. And that's what you're doing, Gideon. No, no. I I never said anything. Little, 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 He's trying to impose his No, I'm simply saying that the philosophy of a people using a mythical creature right. such as a dragon Right. And the inference of their, you know, okay. I mean, it, they have a mentality mm -hmm. that is predicated upon violence and blood. They've shown that in, uh, in and among themselves. I'm not saying that they don't have a peaceful ancient culture. Right. I'm simply yeah, saying yeah, yeah. that it's based on a barbaric system of bloodlust and corruption. So at the end of the day, the Chinese, that's why the Chinese and all the Asian nations over there are uniting with America and the rest of the destroyers of the earth. But their children see the corruption in the system right. and are okay. be trying okay. to fight for an illusion that doesn't exist. There is no democratic process in this earth realm because the powers that be will not allow it. Right. That's why you have world domination and the new world order that your American government that you vote for and the endless 
uh, War Act, the War Act yeah, and, the, and the National Defense I'm Authorization all Act. I'm all for you know what I'm saying? All these acts are designed to destroy. See, you think it's targeting others, but it's just targeting us. That's why we have a similar fight with the people, the Chinese young people, when they see a system that is designed to destroy them. They're like, we need to fight against this now right. before it continues to destroy Gideon, us. Gideon, before you confuse the audience, and before you confuse anybody on this panel. Go ahead. The system Hong Kong, you, now we're talking about the Chinese right, and right. the Hong Kong that are... The students are not fighting for the system that you want. The system that you want is a theocracy, which is similar to the system no, that you're we right, are... You're right, right. That's right. That's why we, we support Al-Qaeda. But they're fighting that, for that's something That's why we that's... support ISIS, your, you know, your cousins. Right. That's why we support them so we can... We Don't can forget the order. Taliban now. Right. Y'all have got the right. Taliban. Right. And so we, when we use them up, then we're going to... God dang, put the and throw them in the trash can right, with the rest of them. Kill them. No, well, the we're going to kill them first, then throw them in the trash can. Right, but the purpose, <laughs> the point that I'm making is that they don't want the same system. They don't. They want a system of, like you said, a council. That's not the system that you want, Gideon. No, that's because not the system of the wealthy. Want. They don't want that. That's the, what do we say? The 1%? 1%. Right. Uh, and the rest of us are, are, are human cattle. Pretty so, much. Okay, what we're okay, saying but, but is so there's an illusion of the democratic process but that's just it. It's an image. But Gideon, but Gideon, but see, the trouble I have with your theocratic system yes, sir. is that if you don't see Yahshua flying up out of the sky on the gang Pegasus, mm -hmm. that you're going to be against every system. Am I against you? You're going to be against every Am system. Am I against you? No, you're not against <laughs> Okay. <laughs> but, Therein but, lies but, the, but the failure of your <laughs> point to make you're sense. Against, you're against some of the strategies that me. No, I'm not. I'm saying I've never seen. If you want to vote for white supremacists and these killers, vote for them. If you're down with I'm the killers, you know what I'm saying? saying? Malcolm you're not going to. I'm just simply saying you ain't going to change the killer by voting for his system. Okay, so Gideon, let us do our strategies. Yes, sir. You're right. You do your strategies. Absolutely. And we'll see what, what, what comes out. Of it. Well, we already know. it. We, we look at the car incarceration rate. We know what has come out of it for us. That's why we're right, saying it. That's why we don't trust it. But, 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 but what I'm saying is that these people, ha they feel like they're a need in earth realm that they have to fight for. You call it an illusion. But what I'm saying is that these people, if they don't do nothing, if they just sit and wait on y'all, then nothing's going to happen. <laughs> <That's what I'm laughs> but see, therein lies the fallacy of, uh, see, that, we have been taught that, don't work. that we, the only process and the only way we can affect change is through the political process. But we have shown on this show, we have impacted more people than you will ever know just by the conversation that we have. An elder man called in on this program and while we, he said, I just realized what you all are there for. You're not there to give us what your point of view is you are there to raise our consciousness right, and awareness and right. awareness right, that ask. is the most important powerful weapon that we as a people have is an awareness and a consciousness okay. of self all right i'm about to raise conscience right now go ahead do it then okay. don't be shy okay Vince, <laughs> yes sir you voted for barack obama right yes sir before you voted for barack obama what, what were two demands you wanted obama two demands that i personally wanted or two no, demands two that, demands I, that, that you, I put out there publicly? Two demands that you wrote in the group and constituency and said, we're going to present this to the president. None. None. Okay. Fact number one, people. Get in. Yes. You talk about you don't vote. And you like registering to vote. And you don't believe it. When have you registered to vote, Gideon? Have you ever voted? I voted one time. Okay. Who did you vote for? Uh, Yah I Elohim in the name of his anointed son, Yeshua. Exactly. That's my point. I hope I raise consciousness <laughs> of the people out there. I hope I raise consciousness for you. Okay, go ahead. Okay. That's my point. Now, it may be some of our viewers out there. You know, we get the questions. We've seen it on the YouTube. Yeah, yeah. People, if you if you can't catch us live every every week, uh, please go on YouTube and subscribe to the Arena 2013 YouTube channel. But we see comments on there sometimes that say, why are we talking about Palestine? Why right, are we talking right. about Iraq? Why are we talking about Hong Kong now? Well, let me make, let's make some parallels yes. between the, the civil disobedience and unrest going on over in Hong Kong and the civil disobedience that we had here recently with the Mike Brown in Ferguson. That's Come right. On. Uh, That's Come on. Come on. Okay? Yes, teach. Now, the major difference and probably going to be the only difference is the cause of the civil unrest. With Mike Brown, 
we had an unjust shooting, That's a right. murder Thank in you. the streets in the middle of Broad Right, Assassination. right. Body lay there for four hours. Yeah. Yeah. So that was the, the, the catalyst uh, for the Ferguson protest That's and right. uprising. Now, which, is, which was a political injustice, yes. right? That's right, yes. Now, the political injustice over in Hong Kong is that the people feel like they're not being represented. That's they right. feel like uh, C.Y. Leung uh, does not speak for them, mm -hmm. yes. does not try to help for them, and he's loyal to China mm -hmm. because the Chinese government put, put him in there. Now, with their chief executive, C.Y. Leung, the protesters want him to step down. In the Ferguson case, who do we oh. want to step down? <laughs> <laughs> we want it. We want the prosecutor. The we police, want the prosecutor. The judge. Right. <laughs> the prosecutor. Clean house up in that beat. We wanted the prosecutor to step down because we felt like he had an unfair bias That's right. towards the system that he not only works for but protects. Exactly. Okay. The protesters in China feel the same way about C. Y. Leon. Exactly. Right. He's a part of the system that they're trying to fight, and he's protecting the system that he's trying to fight. Now, what did they do to squash the protests in Ferguson, Missouri? Oh, they brought out the big tanks and the big guns. Yes, I'm talking about snipers. the militarization, Come on, snipers, now. MRAP machines, thing. all of that. Sonic boom to, to distort your hearing, all of that. They to, need to test all that stuff. Right. <laughs> <laughs> to to uh, quell this right. protest in Ferguson, Missouri. No, to amp up the acts of <laughs> violence. They wanted to amp it up. Go ahead. But, look, but <laughs> even, even with the protest in Ferguson, there were protesters there saying that the, the city and the police were agent uh, provocateurs. Were, were, were sliding in provocateurs to cause disruption Absolutely. and to do the rioting and the looting. Absolutely. Same thing going on over in Hong Kong. Mm. The protesters there are saying that Same the Chinese thing. government and these tree ass that they've gotten to bed with, mm -hmm. uh, they're trying to stop us from voicing our opinion. Right. They're using threats of violence mm -hmm. against us. They're beating on us, mm -hmm. sexually assaulting mm -hmm. us mm -hmm. to get us to end our movement. Mm. Ferguson, Missouri. Same White same. officer shot uh, Michael, Michael Brown. Brown. Mm -hmm. The police department last week, they were wearing wristbands in oh, support right. of Darren Wilson, yeah. saying that I am Darren Wilson. Well, if you are Darren Wilson, sir, you are a murderer. And that right. came and they from are. my mouth. Woo. Now, in Hong Kong. Wait a minute now. They were actually blocking. They had them across their name plates. But yeah. one time, they made them move yeah. them to their arms. Right. Now, my parallel for that is, in Hong Kong, the uh, counter protesters, mm -hmm. They're wearing wristbands in support of the police mm -hmm. and the Chinese government. Mm -hmm. So what, what I'm trying to get the people to see is that the fight that we have here mm -hmm. in America mm -hmm. as black people mm -hmm. is the same fight they're having over in Hong Kong, Absolutely. trying to get political justice and equality, mm -hmm. the same fight they're having over in Palestine, mm -hmm. uh, trying to fight Israel to get their uh, sovereignty and their political justice and Absolutely. justice in general, mm -hmm. uh, the same fight. Over in, in Iraq, the, the fight that they had with us, mm -hmm. uh, you know, it, all of this stuff ties in together. So, mm -hmm. I, you know, I hate to hear people say, that's way over there. That ain't, that ain't got nothing to do. That, got that ain't got nothing to do. Well, they don't have a worldview. And see, this is the other thing I don't know that you've heard about. And I'm glad you brought up Ferguson, Missouri yes. and Michael Brown. Is, uh, <clears throat> there was another police officer that has been shot in so Ferguson. Crazy. Right. They say was say it they was because they don't want to promote. See, they control <laughs> the media. This is the only free media left in America right here on this station, Comcast Community <laughs> Access. In fact, I want to go as far as to say with the people on YouTube saying, what's I got to do? I think y'all are agent and vibrant to us, but go ahead. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and you can believe one right. thing, they are out there. So uh, what the people in Hong Kong should look at in Ferguson is retaliating against the very presence. See, what we're living in is a state of occupation, in a state of fear, it's time for it to be flipped. They need to, the very people that are enforcing and invoking fear on them need to be in fear. And see, that's what Mr. Malvo 
and the young man that he had with him put in white folks the oh, same yeah. strategy you're talking about the dc the sniper. dc sniper oh, yeah. right the same strategy that they've been using on us killing us softly oh, right. killing the guy in the, in the military that they said shot all those people he's christopher zombie. jordan donner no not him okay no, this actually no this guy was in texas he was uh what was the guy? He was a, a, a psychologist. Right. He, he ends up, yeah, yeah he, had, uh, he was a military the personnel. The military yes. He yeah, was he a shot up the military base. Yes. So what that. we find is, again, there has to be a reaction. And I'm not saying, and I have said, of course, that we are going to be sacrificed. But everybody, no, that I am going to be no. sacrificed. Okay, and let me, no let me, doubt. Let me, let me, okay, okay. Right. So, and <laughs> just like Christopher Jordan Donner, the great warrior prince that saw the oppression like Moses of his people, right. wrote a manifesto, and what the, the, the blue code of silence was lifted, and what happened to him? They made sure they killed him and burned him alive Public enemy on number television right. so we all could see it. So you not you cannot vote away hatred. You cannot vote away discontent whoa, whoa, whoa. and people who get it, get it. lie you and say? cheat on you just because they don't like First it. First of all, who wants I didn't say nothing about voting away hatred. You That's can't. Not, see, see, you want the white man to accept you and love you. That's what you want to get. You said that the other day. You're right. I, had, I want all people. Yeah. I had all, all, right. all I said, people. I said, what do you want? You said, I just want your respect. You know what? He, he played you. He said, you know what? I respect you as my brother in Christ. He got you, Giddy. <laughs> so you got to want more than just respect and love. And no, we have to have tangible. So that's why I said, we don't represent the same nation. See, the black nations, we have our 10-point demand platform reparations. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The economical system, mm -hmm. we have But see, let me throw this one at you in the voting uh, process. The thing that once you sign off on that document, what you are actually adhering to and saying I agree with in the small print mm -hmm. is drone bombing, mass incarceration, okay. manipulation of our food, water, and the resources. See, all this is tied into you, the capitalist agenda. So you're basically saying you're co-signing the system. You co-signing on it. See, they done flipped it in your mind to think that if you <laughs> sign off no, and vote no, no, no. for the system, then it makes you where you can speak against it. No. When you don't support them, then you can speak against it because you haven't signed off it because you know it was a lie from the beginning. Go ahead. Go Pretty ahead, far, Black. You signed off by coming back from Nigeria, <laughs> going on an airplane back to the United States, and you signing over and getting yourself a license. And you paying taxes, so knock that off, Gideon. Let me I'm not paying that. taxes. Okay, you know. Okay. Well, yes, that's whoa, not true. Whoa, I am hey, paying taxes. Be careful what you say on yeah. the arena, bro. Hey. <laughs> oh no, no, I, I'm, I'm very transparent. <laughs> okay, well, let me okay. say this because I told you the the European devil uh, in the IRS, which is their this Gestapo okay. unit, which has and put still fear in the vast 99.9% .9 of our people. Right. Sent me some money, and guess what? Most people do when their government, the devil, sends them money. Mm -hmm. They can't wait to go spend it. Oh, yeah. But you know what I did? Like a good slave. Like a good slave, mm -hmm. I sent it right back to right. master. Like a good slave. Like, I, like a good slave, I said, master, I don't want your filthy money. Mm. Master, you can mm. have your money back. I'm not your slave. And even you know though, what? Even though the money when was I yours. sent it back, they like, eh, well, <laughs> you know, what? We, uh, it took them six months of them sending me more documentation saying, we're, we're trying to determine what we're going to do with this. See, when you right. owe them money, they compound interest oh, daily yeah. on you. But we're when take you your send house, your car, <laughs> and everything. You. Yeah. But when you send that money back to them, they are, guess what, supposed to do the same thing. But because they are corrupt, uh, the system, they'll say, you can only get this money up until a certain time. And if you don't get it, then it goes into our national treasury bank <laughs> and use another nigga just like the rest of them. Get you know, let me say this. Gideon's actions does not reflect that of the arena. I was thinking the same <laughs> thing. <laughs> so, or cohorts. Look. Black Sun will never send back nothing. <laughs> I'll, I'll go ahead and spend it. Go ahead, Gideon. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, Gideon. Back to the point that you made about instilling fear. Exactly. Um, I think that's the number one tool and device of any government um, is to instill fear into its general population. Again, going back to Ferguson, um, 
I mean, even looking at the tanks and the, the M16 snipers. and the sniper, I, I felt fear just by looking at it from TV. Like, oh, oh my God, what, is, what are they really doing? Hello. Now, and it, it really reminded me, like we were talking about, sorry. Tiananmen Square, they declared martial law back in 1989 in China, and they brought the foot soldiers in Thanks. and killed thousands and thousands of people. Yeah. Now, when I think about that, how far off are we from that here in the United States? Right around the corner. What, what do you think this militarization of the, the police, police force, force is all about? That ain't because we want y'all to have some nice, shiny new toys to put on your wall <laughs> and in the backyard and, and make your uh, facility look good. And don't, no. they, don't forget the coffins. That many of our callers and listeners have been have called in on the program and told us that we've seen these People thousands coffins. of coffins. Right. Why do they have these coffins here? Because Go y'all refuse to get the you know. The, y'all refuse to vote. vote. No, no. There it yeah. is. Y'all ain't voting like we want. To. <laughs> you refuse to get the inoculations. Try to kill off them. Yeah. The, the inoculations. Get that's it. it. That's what you refuse. To because in an inoculation, that's the chip. See, this is another well, concept. Why is chip disease? Which one? But well, I mean, uh, uh, you know, the realest man. Uh, uh, w A O K Morning Talk. He ends up getting a vaccination on air. Right. You understand? And I call and I'm asking him. I ask him this question. Who, Dude, got, who got an evac uh, 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 vaccination? Of uh, Derek Bozeman? Not Derek Bozeman. No, he's the realest man. Uh, what is his name? I, it, it escapes me. Well, what did he get the vaccination of? He got the flu in vaccine. Okay. okay. Influenza vaccination. Okay. See, this wow. is the thing how white supremacy works. What is AIDS? Man made Acquired disease. Acquired <laughs> immune deficiency syndrome. Right. What is the one word in there that lets you know your body has the ability to resist? Immune. Immune. You already have an immune system. Right. And that system protects us from all the stuff because uh, Whitey it, done made this thing. Ain't no doctor <laughs> breathing with kill you. You hear me? Now, right. if you have an immune system, why do you have to go to the white man for him to inject you with some of the with deadliest <laughs> stuff? Why can't you get it organically? Why can't you go in and get a little exposure where it's your own? See, see. You, you're thinking too much, Gideon. You, you're doing too much thinking. They, <laughs> don't, they, don't, they don't like that. They right? don't like uh, the, the, the WPS, the white power structure, <laughs> does not like individual critical thinking amongst the masses. They want robots. They want people who's going to follow and comply. They want people to read the Bible. Richie, I Richie, Richard, Richie. Richie. That's that. his name, Richard, okay. Richie. Okay. I, forgive me for that. Right. Uh -huh. No, no, okay. they want people to read the Bible. That's why they do it in mass production. <laughs> like, who makes the Bible factories? How many trees do they chop down? You know, there's printing places, right. and you don't have to bind the Bible. See, people don't think about that. I'm glad you said thinking. But they, they, print, <laughs> no, no, they print Bibles, they yeah. print Korans, That's they right. print Torahs in mass factories. They do. Think about that, people. I'm now, just have you gotten the vaccination? Heck no. <laughs> <laughs> Eugenics. Right. See, but this is the mindset of our people who trust this wicked, evil system that has practiced eugenics, mm -hmm. Tuskegee Institute, AIDS, right. Ebola, and stuff. That this this right. respiratory you know, disease, right. that that virus that's killing our, our, ours and their children. Right. They don't care. They don't care. That's the WP. That's what the you white voted power for. Structure, the one percent okay. is who I'm talking about. I can't speak for Brother Gideon, but I'm talking about that one percent who set up these unjust laws, who set up this unjust system, so they could reap and gain all that they can and deplete everyone else of that opportunity to uh, do so. Well, let me let me say this. Let me say this, and and, get, and I know because you, you you were a teacher firsthand, Vince. Yes, sir. One vote doesn't fit all because okay. I agree in a sense that the power structure they want to do away with the schools right now on a local level we have to vote as far as you know uh, uh, like like no child left behind right you know what I'm saying so right it, it, one hand you're talking about doing away with the schools and one hand you're talking about you know what I'm saying so there's di one vote doesn't fit all Gideon there's different levels of this thing well see that's why we're able to peacefully coexist because you're an intellect you're a warrior, you're a soldier, <laughs> but you're also one who watches the environment. See, when I brought the information about the UN American uh, 
cooperative effort to create a defense shield in Romania. Mm -hmm. That's your money going over there in Romania. Oh, I agree, I agree. Did you vote for it? You didn't even know that. You feel what I'm saying? You didn't even know it was even going in. No, 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 but I knew about the endless war. But that's down to transparency, what you were talking about before. Absolutely. No, 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 but no, wait, wait a minute. Let me, let me say this again, and can you keep saying that? I am down with the Endless War Act. Because okay. you got people like Al-Qaeda, ISIS, we talked about that. Taliban. Vince said uh, you got uh, about three <laughs> hours to convert over to Islam or you're going to face the sword. So, yeah, the drones are needed for those type of fanatics, Gideon. Oh, uh, my goodness. Yes, they are. <laughs> no, he didn't say the drones are needed. <laughs> uh, so Who's going to be at the control, but, though? But, <laughs> Okay, go with ahead. that being said, with the statement he just made about the drones, um, we get a lot of the information we get about ISIS from the American media, um, which, Tainted. in a sense, if you look at it, is propaganda. Thank you. I mean, and so we really have to really pay attention to what's being said and be able to decipher and vet what is truth and not truth because if we don't do that, then we'll have a mass population of people saying, yeah, send the drones over there and bomb them. Didn't because you didn't because that. on CNN <laughs> and on Fox, they said that ISIS did this and ISIS did that. And oh, the poor oh, the baby that they did. Oh, what ISIS did to the baby. And right. so, got the, where's the pen? I'm right. signing off to send the drones over there right, right now. That's it. Right, right. Right, That's right, it. Right, right. And uh, let's uh, have somebody hold come on, in here and turn on. this air down because it's getting hold cold up in here. Hold on, hold on. But Vince, let me, let me, let me say this. Okay. I, I agree that the media manipulates and you know, right. does all that. However, I've asked Gideon yes, sir. specifically on this show okay. if there was a Hebrew Israelite government. Yes. Which no, would be a theocracy. Going. <laughs> yeah. What would they do with the homosexuals? And he danced around in No, I didn't. Gang I told you specifically they, what they would do. What would they do? Exile. Exile. Or or what? No, I, I simply said no, exile. No, because he, he formed the question. Exactly. If, if they don't want to go into exile, what happens? Well, now, if they don't want to go into exile, okay, then uh, it's going to be some trouble. Okay, and that's why we've got the drones. And <laughs> <laughs> exile simply means you know, that you keep your life, but you're going to keep that mess uh, over yonder. Okay, now, now that's fact number one. And now I asked Miriam, I said, would you uh, be down with forming an Islamic state? She said, yeah. Yep, white right Islam. Now, Right I Islam, don't want right. No Islam. Right Islam, right. In my government. I don't want no Jesus in my government. I don't want no Yah in my government. I want checks and balances of the people. We check we check and balance each other like they do. Wait a minute China. now. You what side of your uh, uh, nationalistic I neck are you gonna sign? Either you're gonna have a council of all the people or you're gonna just have a council of the people that you want. No, no, one thing I do agree with this government, Gideon. Let me make this clear. All right, no. I agree with the white power structure when they say separation of church and state. Apparently they knew what they were doing and when they ran from England, ran from Spain, ran from the Crusades, they said, we're not gonna have that no more here in the United States government. I agree with that 100%. But it's but never it's, been true. I'm like, is there really separation of church and Thank state? Thank you. Because we is, have, we it's have, never been true. We have, an incident, we have a case here in Georgia right now. Uh, I want to say somewhere in North Georgia, north of Atlanta. Okay. Um, and it was on the news about two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. And it was a huge issue because this football team, mm -hmm. they received a, it was a gift from the community. Okay. And it was basically a statue. Uh, and it had on the bottom of it, we can do all things through Christ who strengthened us, mm -hmm. and in God we trust. Mm -hmm. Now, if there's separation of church and state, like you said, they should not have been allowed to put that on school property because it's right in the middle of school, even to the fact where when the, when the football players come out, they rub on it, uh, <laughs> you know, before okay. they go play the game. Mm -hmm. So, like he said, is there truly separation not. of church and there, state? There because is, now they're is. trying to get – this same school, the outsiders or atheists or whoever it may be, mm -hmm. is trying to get uh, the school to remove uh, this statue, you know, off campus because they're saying it, it's a violation. See, I mean, this is why I need you on the show. <laughs> <laughs> For Yemen, okay. see, this is why I, li I like to invite a lot of Middle Eastern people instead of, you know, African-Americans. Now, they'd be at home pooping and farting. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Living a good life, you know, That's talking right. about Beyonce. Mm -hmm. And they really don't understand a theocratic government. You middle people in the Middle East do. You True understand that. that they're atheists. In fact, there were women in um, 
that were reading tarot cards, and she was sentenced to death, and she was beheaded. So, mm -hmm. with that being said, we do not live in a theocratic government, but, gentlemen. But, it but black, let me just say. But if, Go ahead. If, if, uh, Meaning if in the Bible. Ask, hold on. If, Meaning, okay. if you ask the vast majority of people in the government what their religious or spiritual belief is, what would they say? They might say Christian. They're, they're more okay, than likely they they're going to say Christian. Okay. Now, you think, do you, can, can you honestly say that when they're in, in, in Congress or whatever and they're making decisions and doing whatever they need to do, that they're honestly separating their religious beliefs from the work that they're doing Teach. in the government? Okay, Teach, let me speak brother. on that. Teach. It's not that they have to even separate it. They have people that are Muslims people that are homosexuals, people that are atheists in the government that keeps the checks and balances just like on this show. Yes. This is a, mi 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 it's a microcosm. microcosm of a macrocosm. Exactly. Now, I know you may not like Gideon that it's a bunch of white guys up in there, but you got white guys that are, some are atheists, some are homosexuals, some are Catholic, some are Jews, some are, you know what I'm saying, some are actually Islamists. You know I, but the point that I'm making is that <laughs> yes. there are checks and balances. Okay. So there's no one group, the majority being Christian, right. that can impose something like, like Saudi Arabia saying, oh, you're practicing witchcraft? Okay, off with her head. Or like the Islamic State. Mm -hmm. Or like ISIS. Or like, I don't know, let me just pick a goddamn country mm -hmm. that is under theocratic rule, Gideon. Now let me Vince. just say this. Go ahead, Vince. No, no, he called ahead. your name. Okay, well, you know, anyway, let me say this specifically as it pertains to the white European male and his woman. Oh, let me say this woman. real quick. Let me say this real quick. There is separation of church and state because, you know, there is Saudi separation Arabia, between church and state. Okay. Saudi Arabia have what you call religious police. So with that being said, yes, we are. As it pertains to the European male and female, I don't have anything against them individually. Right. It's their system. The system in and of itself is destroying. See, if the white man ain't gonna pay his own woman, his wife, his mother, his daughter. I'm confused. Which system? The system of. It's called democracy? Democracy. demonocracy. Or Catholic. Or Catholic. <laughs> they're both the same. No, they're, they're both, not the same. They they're are the both same. the same. They One is a same. Uh, offspring of the other. Thank you. Yeah, that's what I was trying to think of. You're, In you're Washington, right. you're right. They elected. I forgot her name. She is a democratic socialist. This is a fact. I'm gonna get next show we have. I'm gonna bring her name. I'm gonna Please. What do you think the corporations uh, of this country are under? They're under a socialist regime. No, the not. rest of us they're are under. Capitalist regime. We, no, the corporations are under a socialist regime because they get subsidies. They get uh, where well, they don't have to pay their taxes. They don't have to pay their water bill. They don't have that socialism. But they tell you, see, they're under socialist no, no, regime. No, 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 no. The white know. folks that run the organizations are under a capitalist regime, and Negroes following the white folks are under a totalitarian regime, dictatorship. So, Gideon, let me, let me ask you this. So all they got to do is just get... And all this wretchy in America. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going to tell you what it is, Gideon. I've studied... What I straight and make us long enough to understand. Wow, well, yeah. You just have an economical issue. That's what you That's have. right. You niggas all y'all dumb and you stupid and you're lazy and you no. don't like your women. And we're going to have to beat y'all. <laughs> Drink some of this corn look right here. That's what I'm saying, you All you want, just like every other person that's complaining, just, you just want a better economical system, don't you? Because you don't understand administration. You really don't get it. <laughs> like, like you people. You, you're complaining about capitalism. It's a legit concern. I tell this to Tracy, I tell this to you, I tell this to all the people that come on the show. You have an economical issue. No. Yes, you do, Kitty. Economics are the last of our worries because we are the most intelligent, economically savvy, uh, physically built on the you planet. Want a, you don't want a bigger piece of the pie? No, they can have that filthy pie. Oh, they stole right. the right. stolen. No, wait a minute. They, they stole the pie. The pie. <laughs> they stole the pie, and now you want to give me some? You keep that pie. I don't know why. I'm stole the pie, and now you want to give it to me. Is it just economic struggle? Are people just fussing and cussing about? No, it's, it's, not? it's not just economic. Is I it? mean, it's it's. Is it the judiciary? It's, it's the judiciary. It's okay. the legislative. Okay. It's the educational. Okay. It's the economic. Okay. It's the total the health. package <laughs> of suppression and oppression that we've been receiving for the past five 
hundred years. Okay. okay. So Vince, let me ask another question real quick. Where are we offering a better solution? That's all I ask. Because the one, once we come with a better solution, I, like I tell you all the time, I will be on the front line with AK-47. Like, I, like, like you said earlier, okay. we've become, not always been, but we've become a very reactionary people. Right. And we're not doing enough uh, proactively uh, to better our condition. And that's because, like we said on this show before in the 60s, uh, with the voting rights and more so-called equal rights, they pacified us. Uh, we got a little too content. They pacified them leaders. They didn't pacify well, us. Apparently. Well, yeah. They, I'm, I'm generalizing <laughs> okay, us. Right, I'm right. generalizing <laughs> us as a group. <laughs> Right. I'm generalizing us as a group. Um, okay. And so you're right. I mean, to your point, you're right. We haven't offered up a better solution uh, to this cricket. So we do, we do do a lot of complaining. Okay. A lot of finger pointing. Okay. But so I'm going to just ask you, because we've got to close out. Uh-huh. What's your solution for t uh, China? What's the solution? <sighs> You mean they, all they, this right? You they, why you didn't come up with a solution? Right? They, you don't they, get for that. Yeah, no, I'm going. Go ahead. No, I'm My solution for China, they, that's tricky because the, the Chinese government is, I, I want to say they're a little bit more radicalized than the United States government. And that's, and that's, say, and that's saying a lot. <laughs> that's, a whole, that's saying that's a lot. That, that, that lot. The Chinese government is, is more radicalized than the U.S. government. But um, I will implore the protesters in China to keep fighting the good fight right. and urge them, most importantly, to try to stay alive because I'm sure they are aware of the force that they're coming up against. Right. And I'm sure they are aware of the past and the history I'm sure they're of, of the force of the Chinese government. Um, and so I, I, I totally I agree with what they're doing. I just think that they do have to tread a little lightly given the fact that they're not fighting a, a very a, a government that has a, a open door policy right okay right. They're, they're fighting some some real thugs so two minutes Gideon solution well in one minute first of all okay. you already have a spiritual AK that's right you are hitting it right <laughs> now on this show and you're <laughs> You don't even know it. But anyway, you do. The reality of uh, what's happening in uh, Hong Kong has a lot to do with the female component. Because, see, over there, they have a, a restriction on how many children you can have. Right, right. And then the government has an agenda against the people that ultimately will be its future. So they have a, but because they're dealing with the power of the dragon, they are going to submit to the fire of the dragon, and that fire is kindled by my creator. All right, with that being said, I'm going to wrap up what Gideon said. And what You said, wait, say that again. <laughs> yeah, the dragon of the fire of the dragon. That's, that's what I wanted to say. That. Don't submit. Just like <laughs> we told Miriam. Palestine. Yeah, don't, 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 don't submit. Don't, you know. And that's what the Chinese government is worried about, because they say to give Hong Kong that power would be a threat to national security. Right. And they're worried about this pro-democracy movement spreading to other cities. So they're really fearful of being overthrown. Why do you say this? See, that's why they can't submit, Gideon. They're not going to go against their human will. The human will is to think for themselves. You know what I'm exactly. Right. We're coming in the age of where not only the Chinese, but the African Americans or the Palestinians. Wrap it up. We have to think for ourselves. With mm -hmm. that being said, next week, yes. we out. Keep, hey! keep up the good fight, Hong Kong. <laughs> yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. All this right here. <laughs> <laughs>